I'm not sure I'd call it smooth, but it's taken care of. All right, let's get you back in time. But first, I, uh, I have something to confess. I didn't give you the whole story before about time travel. You see, when the Institute started researching time travel, the goal was to travel back in time to prevent the Great War. But there were competing theories of how time travel worked. Does altering the past carry over into the present? Or does the past just branch off into a new timeline with no effect on the present? Turns out, it's the latter. If the Great War had been prevented via time travel, the Institute in its present form never would have existed. So the time machine wouldn't have been built, making the trip back in time impossible. You see the paradox? Preventing the Great War just creates a new timeline with no effect on the present. When I explained those findings to the Raider crew here, I was devastated, but they were thrilled. Sam remarked, you mean we can go back in time, do whatever we want, and there are absolutely no consequences? Go ahead, I'm listening. After indulging their fantasies of robbing banks and spending the cash at pre-war strip clubs, the crew came up with a money-making scheme. They call it the Hitler Games. It's a revenge fantasy contest. Each contestant puts in 300 caps and takes a video camera back to 1944 Germany. Whoever records the most creative kill of Adolf Hitler wins the prize money. The betting pool, plus the Raider cut, was up to 2,100 caps before the time machine broke. If you want in, I'll cover your entry fee since you found the missing parts. You ready to give it a shot? Lock and load. Let's do this. Okay, here's the body cam. Just step right over there onto the platform. Hitler yet? You're not eligible for the prize unless you get a recording of killing Hitler. Welcome to the 20th century. You are contestant number 8. Previous best time to kill Hitler. 14 minutes and 22 seconds. Good luck. Nice. 